How's it my orchids and fanboys friends? Dave here with another blooms update. As you can see we've got quite a few things in flower this month um, with a number of paphiopedlums and a two oncidiums and some other interesting things happening on that side. So stay tuned to find out more about these amazing blooms. First off, let's start with the two oncidiums that are in bloom. So this oncidium is the Pacific Lust Lady Chatterley. It has a really awesome sweet rose type of scent to it. Really, really love this one. As you can see, the blooms are fading a bit, but you can still see the amazing color on this one. I bought this Oncidium quite a few years back. This one's been in my care for a number of years. The reason I bought this Oncidium is you don't often see this beautiful color on Oncidiums. They're usually reds to yellows and obviously the Miltoniopsis and the Alisaras have these um, pinkish colors to them as well. But this specific color you don't see quite often. And the scent on this one is magnificent and it's really a pleasure to have in the greenhouse. Next we'll go on to this beautiful Oncidium over here. This is the Oncidium Wildcat Bobcat. Really, really love this one. I got this orchid from Otaniko Orchids. I think this is an awarded clone, if I'm not mistaken. No discernible scent to this one right now. I know in the past it has had a scent, but it's been very, very mild. It's not the orchid that you buy for the scent. These amazing deep colored blooms, they really, really are beautiful. This one's also been in my care for quite a while and year on year she's just been doing better and better. I purchased this one as a back bulb and she's just been doing really really well since then. I think I received this one in about 2017-2018 so it's been in my collection for a number of years. Everyone should have an Oncidium Wildcat and the Wildcat clones there are a few of them out there they vary quite a bit the Bobcat being I think the deepest maroon burgundy color with these yellow markings on the tips it's absolutely beautiful. Next let's move on to the two Paphio Pedlums. I'm going to start with this beauty. So this was the orchid that you would have seen in my previous video that was in bud that I said it's a Paphio Pedlum but I'm not telling you which one. <laughs> I really really love the flower on this one. It's a smaller species but the flower is so intriguing. This is the Paphiopedlum perforatum. If you look at the dorsal petal or sepal, I always forget which is which on the hooded and uh, slipper orchids, but it's got these beautiful maroon striations on this pure white background. I also really love the shape of it. I'm all for the smaller Paphiopedlums. The bigger ones tend to take up a lot of space but these little ones look cute and I really really like them. Also mottled leaves. Always love mottled leaf orchids. Very very beautiful. This one has also been in my collection for a number of years. Think about probably about the same year I received the Wildcat 28, around about 2018. This one I received as a member plant from Plante Orchids and it's done pretty well in my care over the years. Last year it didn't put out a fan for me and it didn't flower so I'm hoping that once this flower is finished it will be putting out a little beautiful fan for me in the spring. So I was really excited to show you guys that one. Next let's move on to the next Paphiopedlum. This is the Paphiopedlum Concolor. You would have seen this in a recent orchid haul that I did. This one also came as a member's plant from Plante. I've had my eye on this one for quite a number of years. I didn't know that the blooms were smaller, so I'm really happy about that. This one did come in flower. This is the flower that you saw in bud at that time. This is a scented orchid. Not one that you would buy for the scent. It's very, very faint. Also, it isn't a pleasant scent. It's a little bit salty and musty and cheesy. Very, very interesting. <laughs> Something that you get for the scent. But knowing me, I'm all about the scent, so I always have to smell and let you guys know what I'm picking up with these orchids. I love looking at the pouch of this flower and the, the pollinia area. It's very glossy and interesting and I find it pretty fascinating as well as the speckles. I actually um, did a drawing of this orchid which I'll probably chuck in if I feel brave enough. <laughs> also a bit of mottling on the leaves. Um, so yeah, very very happy about this. Next we have this beautiful orchid. This one I got from Duckett Nurseries. 
if I remember correctly, I think it's a Catlianthe Controversy. Also faintly fragrant, again not, not an orchid you'd buy for the fragrance, it's a bit musty. I like to pull these <laughs> sheaths off so that there's no mealy bug or anything hiding underneath. The scent reminds me of the Ancelia a bit. Not a very obvious musk fragrance, but somewhere on that spectrum. This one is a pretty happy orchid. Very, very easy to care for. This I keep bare rooted as you can see. You will notice how plump the canes are. Even the older canes are pretty plump. Uh, so this one's been doing pretty, pretty well. And I would actually start to say that this is a little bit more of a drought tolerant orchid. More like the Lelia types and that type of um, Catlia because as you can see it doesn't have much media attached to it and it's doing pretty pretty well and I only water it about max twice a week at the moment again in summer I try to spritz it a bit more often but I really don't get to keeping up with the watering well on mounted orchids so any orchid that is in my collection that is mounted is doing very very well mounted I mean mounted bare root those types of things definitely one that you can keep bare root maybe just put a bit of attach a bit of sphagnum moss to the orchid but yeah, a very, very um, pleasurable orchid to have in your collection. The blooms are very, very attractive. They have a dirty pink color to them and the markings on the lip are pretty striking. Also, um, I love how the shading of the color on the edge of the petals um, is a deeper pink color. It's a very, very beautiful one. Then next, and this one I want to talk to you guys a bit about. Label says Serrata Kylis. I remember it being Serrata Stylus. This is one of my favorite orchids. You would think uh, I would know the name of my favorite orchid. <laughs> but the names get confusing after a while. Anyway, this is the Serrata Stylus Rubro. Yes, it's Serrata Stylus Rubro. I don't know why the label says Serrata Kylis. So this was the experiment I did with the Terracotta Planter. The moss has been keeping really, really damp on this mount and has helped the orchid stay pretty hydrated. So definitely a winner, um, in my opinion. I definitely want to get more of these terracotta planters and keep them to mount orchids on. I might even decide to mount the odd orchid at the top here, one of the small, smaller varieties. But my aim is to have this spiral right around the entire planter and fill it up. And then obviously when it blooms, you'll have this burst of orange colored blooms around the orchid. If you've seen specimens of the Serrata stylus rubra, you will see how beautiful they can be with this ball of leaves with these salmon colored flowers popping out of everywhere. So really excited to see where this one can go to. Uh, since I've attached it to this, let's just take a look here. I'll lift it up for a second. It's put out a little leaf over here. You can see the two lighter colored leaves. Those are new. And this one was in flower. It is still in flower, but the flower's closing a bit now. But really excited about this one and to see where this one will be going to. Once it's got a little bit more of a stem, I can start curling it around more and we can see where this, where this is going to lead to. So let me know below if you have any of these beautiful orchids in your collection or any that you would like to add to your collection. If you would like to see more content such as this, please hit the subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell notification to get notified when I upload content. I put out content weekly with the blooms videos happening monthly to every two months depending on the season and what's in flower. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep well, stay safe. Bye.